here we are. You know, I want to say that I, I do stand for all people, including gays and lesbians, and yet I'm opposed to same-sex marriage. And how those two can fit for some of you wondering that, I guess that I can't explain it. Um, there are some close to me that I'm uh, close with that are, are gay or live gay, depending on uh, who you want to talk to. In fact, one of them would say that they were not born gay. And yet we have learned how to love each other and have a conversation and connect even though we are very much different from each other and the conclusions that we come to. And it's sort of a reflection of where we are here right, right now in Minnesota. You know, we are, we are divided right down to our soul. You know, a number of people here have uh, shed tears on both sides of the uh, conversation. You know, if I was thinking about this, I certainly was emotional. It's hard to find the answer we need that solves both sides. You know, many of us, uh, we have a view of a, a wonderful, loving God that has boundaries and laid out boundaries for, for marriage between a man and a woman. I was raised in a, in a Christian home with godly parents that uh, poured over the scriptures, just like Senator Marty was, and yet we came to a different conclusion. Many of us soul-searching about what is right and wanting the will of God. I know that's not just me, nor just my side. You know, but I am convinced that, that there is one right answer, that God does have a right and a wrong. And yet today we're going to fall on different sides of that. And I even thought about that. What does God think about this for the side that's wrong? And you know, I've come to the conclusion that uh, he is wildly in love with us even at our worst place in life, all of us. So we're going to move forward today. I mean, it, it looks like this is going to pass. I'm going to vote no. Where do we go from there? You know, I'm deeply concerned that we are not taking care of religious liberties. I hope that I can work with uh, Senator Dibble and others in the future to protect them. And I hope Senator Dibble and, and the gay community know that I have an utmost respect for them, even though I passionately disagree. But no matter what the vote is today, it's not going away. You know, they talked about we might be the 12th state uh, that passes this. Well, 32 went the other way. And so how we get through this after this is what I'm concerned about. And Madam President, members, uh, it is my desire to be somebody that brings healing, knowing that I am on the opposite side of about half of you. That is my desire to bring, bring something that I think we've got to figure out how to get through together. And so I'm a red vote today, Madam President, members, but I have the utmost respect and compassion for all people, including gays and lesbians.